hi guys and welcome back to my channel I'm so happy that you're here today as you can see I'm going to make a tutorial on this look right here it's a pop art uh, zombie kind of look I found this look on Pinterest and then I saw this girl who did this makeup look and I loved it so much and then I found her on Instagram and I, I saw different uh, po poses of this look and I fell in love with them more and I wanted to do it so I'm gonna give all the credit to her and I'm gonna put her handles right here I think she's an amazing artist and I think you should go and check her Instagram out and if you want to see how I did this look and how I came to this point then please keep on watching okay let's get started because i'm a bit afraid to go right away with black pencil i'm gonna start by dividing my face somewhere here with a beige pencil i, I don't think you're able to see but i just did this line because i want to see where everything goes I'm going to take a black pencil and go over the line I just did. I'm feeling for my teeth so I can draw the line naturally how my teeth are. It's a bit messy right now, but it's gonna get better. Uh, these are just some sketches. And I think this part would be much easier with maybe a felt tip liner or a brush because the pencil smudges. Okay, now that I've finished with the sketches, I'm gonna just draw the brains right here and for that I'm gonna use as a reference a cartoon drawing of brains and I think that's the best way to go with Okay, now that I finally mapped practically everything on my face, I'm gonna move on onto my neck a little bit to continue the drama and then fill in a bit of the rest. First I'm going to start with the brows because I don't know, this is just what I feel like doing. I'm going to make my brows much longer than they are for more drama. Now I'm gonna go with eyeliner on top. Okay, now I'm gonna move to the actual makeup. I'm gonna go with yellow on this 
eye. I'm gonna use the NYX Butterscotch Caramel for the yellow on my eyelid. Okay, now that I've finished my eyeliner, I'm gonna continue accentuating everything and making it the... This is the pop part side. So I'm gonna go on my crease with black. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and draw the depth, the black part on my nose. Okay, I'm gonna take some blue and fill in this tear. The black is gonna get a bit messed up right now, but that's not a big deal, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna take a bit of NYX Electroshock. I'm gonna go ahead and color the brains with yellow and green. And going on the black parts, basically give, shading it a bit and giving it more depth and making it more gross, like it's some kind of goo coming out of it. And I'm gonna do this thing right here also green because it's supposed to be like a very gross goo thingy coming out of them and I'm gonna add a bit of brown to it so it doesn't blend this intensely with the brains now I'm gonna draw more lines into this tear duct or whatever so it seems like layers now I'm gonna start to draw the teeth and I'm gonna just sketch them and draw lines with shadow something like that I'm gonna do the same thing on the other part Now I'm gonna go ahead with my water activated colors. I'm gonna take white and fill in. Now I'm gonna take black and put black between the white. These are actually my first teeth ever, I mean, with which I drawn especially on my face, so don't judge too harshly. Now I'm gonna do the other side, the zombie side, the pink eye first. I'm first gonna add the rest of the white where I need to. What's supposed to be the bone here, I'm gonna cover with white. Okay, I went ahead and finished my whole face with pink and now I have to do the eyeliner on this eye. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead with gel liner. I'm going to accentuate all the black on my face. I don't think it's necessary for the lines to be very precise. By messing them up a bit you give them a bit of shade and and definition. Okay, 
if you contour with black around your face and into your hairline then you'll make the makeup pop in the more because I want to intensify the pink on my face I'm gonna add a bit of shade with the NYX pink that I used before and I'm basically gonna contour a bit more my face because it's not bony enough And I'm gonna take a bit of green Now I'm gonna do the pop art part And I'm gonna take the back of a brush And I'm gonna take the white I used before You can do this with uh, maybe white eyeliner as well or whatever you have on hand now I'm gonna go and do my lips Now I'm gonna take black and line them Now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it, highlight with white where I need to. Okay, now I'm gonna go put on some lashes and be back. Okay guys, so I have my lashes on, but now I want to put bottom lashes. I've never done that before on my channel, but I figured that because it's Halloween, I might as well be extra extra. And I'm gonna take individual lashes. Never done this before, ever. Okay, so there you guys go. Uh, it's been a long time and I am finally done. I am sorry if this is going to be a long video. I'm really sorry. Also, I want to mention that I've never actually before done a Halloween look. I've never done this kind of thing before, never used... Um, face paints this is all new for me when the halloween period starts to arrive and people post all these amazing looks and i'm here like oh, i'd like to do that but they but i've never done this before so i was kind of scared but i'm so happy i did it because i've had a lot of fun I know it doesn't look perfect at all and I do want to say once again that this look was inspired uh, by I'm, I'm gonna put her name here I think she did a much better job than me and she's so talented and I'm very glad that I found this inspiration and I did this I hope you guys enjoyed it please go and give me a thumbs up if you like my video go subscribe to my channel for new videos thank you so much for watching and being here with me I love you guys and hopefully I'm gonna see you next time bye guys